What were the best and worst looks from the Copenhagen Fashion Week Fall Winter 2024? Let's get into it. Hey, my name is Sheree and welcome to my fashion and style channel. So today I'm going to share with you some of the best and some of the worst looks from Copenhagen Fashion Week. I'm going to show you the pictures of each outfit, but I'm not going to share the brand. Why? Because we're nice and we're kind. We want to respect everyone's artistic views. <laughs> but some of these people were looking a mess. Let's get started. So the first look has to be a best. She looks amazing. She has on this gray, silvery, see-through two-piece set. It's beautiful, like the detailing in the top and the maxi skirt are gorgeous. So I'm not a fan of the mesh boots. I, they remind me of those mesh booties people used to wear back in the day and they came in like every color. Like, I don't know, it's something very cheap about those boots, but I love the top. I love the maxi skirt. I love the slit. So sheer pieces, especially sheer skirts, have been like a thing for the past few seasons. So apparently next fall and winter, we will still be wearing sheer items. The next look is this beautiful denim on denim on denim. <laughs> I love denim on denim outfits, but nowadays it seems like they're taking denim and they're making it a little bit more interesting. So as you can see, she has on like a denim shirt or jacket. It could be both. She has a turtleneck on underneath, but it seems like they took the bottom of a blazer and created like a corset type of waistline, if that makes sense. That's clearly not denim, right? Or it could be a darker denim, but it looks like a blazer's bottom to me. She has on these wide leg trousers, love it. I wish, I wish, I wish the shoes were like a pointed toe. Patent leather, amazing. <laughs> um, so this is a, a young lady wearing a fur collared shirling leather coat. <laughs> I believe she also has on like a tank top, satin pants, you know, I love the satin pants, I think they're gorgeous. This belt, now I see a lot of statement belts these days, but this one, um, but um, this outfit for me, I don't, I don't like it, I don't care for it, it looks very, just so many seasons. Put together and yeah definitely this is a no for me and this the sunglasses yeah I would want to cover my face too oh okay so here's another sheer top if you are someone who keeps up with these runway shows you know like the whole sheer and see-through fabric is definitely a thing and in this look she has on a sheer top with a bralette underneath she's wearing this uh, skirt I believe and it has a very interesting hem at the bottom she has on these flats yes yeah, it's, it's interesting I think that it is missing something I almost want the skirt to have a matching blazer or maybe a matching vest but okay what do you think let's move on <laughs> so not everything you see during fashion week is wearable right and this is one of those times where okay yeah we're not going to see a person walking down the street with an outfit like this on however maybe they could take bits and pieces of the outfit and try to make it wearable the boots I feel like they are similar to the stacked denim jeans that we've been doing, right? Those jeans that seem to be elongated so that when you wear them, they're kind of stacked over your shoes. That's what these boots look like to me. So for me, they would be wearable. As for the uh, bodysuit, I love the structure and the shoulders. I, I love the elongated zipper. Of course, I would wear it with maybe some jeans or leggings. But I, I don't hate it. I do wish that her hair was behind her so that we could see more of the garment. But other than that, it's different, right? It was creative. Whoever the designer is, they were trying to do something very avant-garde, very out of the norm. And I think they've achieved that. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this one. Okay, I 
like this. I really love her fur jacket. I think that is so cute. So there's this trend going around called Mob Wife, I believe. I don't know, it feels a little offensive, but I like where it's going. It's very gaudy, very over the top, big old furs, sleek hairstyles, sunglasses. Very just sophisticated, but also a little gangsta. <laughs> I love that look and that's kind of what she's giving here with this fur uh, the jacket underneath it seems like she has on two or three different shirts the white shirt has this asymmetrical zipper or closure so that's interesting I'm not sure about that that great overlay that has like the circular cutout in the middle the brand was trying to do something I guess I love the skirt Okay, I have to say that I love the skirt and the bag, the shoes, everything is really cute. I just don't like that gray situation in the middle there. I don't like that, but everything is beautiful. I love the fact that maxi skirts are just here for the long haul because I personally, I can get bored with jeans and oh, here are some leggings, but the maxi skirt, you can literally wear it any way you want. To me, it always looks really good. Ooh, yes! This is cute, oh my gosh. This red coat is gorgeous. It's the red coat with those shoulders. If you know what those shoulders are called, let me know down in the comment section. They're exaggerated, but they have like a, a falling shape to them and it gives the coat such a beautiful shape and structure and the rest of the outfit is muted and simple because that coat needed to stand out she threw on maybe a brownish gray blazer she has on some jeans black heels like a black little pump with gold detailing on the top she has a little white mini bag not a mini bag a small bag black shades headband hair pulled back statement earrings this is beautiful it's it's simple it's classy it's it's elegant it's chic i think it looks great yes oh my god here's another girl with her fur on and i love it oh she looks so good this is another example of that whole mob wife trend i think we really need to give it another name but that's what they're calling it so she has this beautiful just the fur is you can tell the fur when the wind blows on her it's just like <laughs> i love this she has her hair pulled back in a sleek little bun shades some brown shades on leather boots it seems like she has maybe some white leggings on so i can imagine the rest of her outfit is all white she has a brown bag i'm not a fan of this bag that she's carrying i feel like she could have went with something that had a little bit more structure to it so that it just it gives boss vibes right but it's all right i mean it's just a brown bag but it does feel a little bit out of place can i have the coat let me know if you're into this i am loving this outfit Ooh. so i did notice that the fashion industry is really trying to push this skirt with pants situation so i saw a lot of skirts but then they'll throw on some pants underneath and it's an outfit that is essentially what this brand did it is a two to three piece set i'm not sure if the skirt is attached to the pants so let's assume maybe it's not it's three pieces i like the set i love the color i love the tie detailing i love the stretchiness i almost feel like this fabric is similar to the sweater that I'm wearing. I think, yeah, it, it kind of looks similar. I love it, and I love that they put a, um, an open toe sandal. Yeah, it's cute, it's cute, but I'm not sure if I'm buying that skirt with pants trend yet. I would have to see it really like perfected for me to be like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Ooh, yes. So she's wearing a little bit more of a streetwear style, but anytime I see an all white, all cream, all beige, neutral color, if the whole outfit monochromatic, I love it. Like this right here is beautiful and she has so much 
on and it still looks effortless. It still looks just like chill, laid back. I'm just here to see a fashion show. I got my coffee, taking my time to get there. I love this. The pleated maxi skirt. She's wearing sneakers, come on. <laughs> she has on a blazer, but she threw on a cardigan. I don't know if it's a cardigan sweater, or maybe they call it a cardigan vest, something along those lines. A knitted scarf, but the scarf seems to be super long because it's almost touching the floor. She has her crossbody bag, very expensive bag. I, I peeped the expensive bag. Sunglasses, simple earrings. I love this. I think it's very classic, very pretty. Ooh! Tell me she doesn't look amazing. Anytime I see a woman with a suit on, I'm sold. I'm sold on your outfit because you're wearing a suit. I love women in suits. It's so bossy and just, ooh, I love it. Wide leg pants. It seems like she has on a see-through top with the blazer, that coat. I really want a maxi coat, like a coat that almost touches the floor. I would love that so, so much. And hers is very, very long. It's dragging on the ground, but it's still a look. I love her earrings. Oh my gosh. Look at those earrings, they're so pretty. Her makeup is gorgeous. The rhinestone bag is just such a standout piece. It goes with the shoes. She did this. She definitely killed it. Um, so I'll say this. I'm a person who is kind of just getting into fashion, so I'm learning, right? So when I see an outfit and it just seems like you have a bunch of pieces on, you just have a a bunch of items on is that supposed to be fashion is that personal style because this these three outfits are I would look at them as if they are a mess I see the person on the end they have on the again the skirt with the pants I don't like that trend because now you have these wide leg pants on they're damn near covering your shoes you have this sweater wrapped around your waist it looks like it could be a skirt, but it's, I think it's either a scarf or a sweater. The middle chick, she has these joggers on. I mean, her outfit actually seems to be the most stylish to me. And then the first girl, all right, I'm just gonna move on because I don't wanna be negative, but they just look a mess. But if I had to choose the middle girl, she looks the most stylish. You can let me know what you think. I don't know. Okay. Um. Again, with these skirts, in these pants don't push that on me do not push that on me because every time I see it it looks dumb and I love an oversized outfit I'm, I love big giant clothing but this just looks like too much I'll say this that necklace that cross necklace gorgeous Hilo Lux I believe has this necklace and when she wears it I'm sorry her name is Janae Taylor just so you guys know She's amazing she's like that girl and yeah she when she wears it she makes sure like that item is the the thing you should be looking at on her outfit and it's beautiful the necklace is actually stunning but it's lost in translation on this outfit she has this leather jacket that is just too damn big it's a nice jacket but it's just too much it's too much on her then she has on this brown hoodie she has on three other necklaces, a t-shirt, a skirt, a pleated skirt at that with a belt wrapped around it. And then the pants, I don't know, are they sweatpants with some type of detailing on them, printed sweatpants, these crazy looking boots, this bag. It's just like she's wearing too many statement items in one outfit to me and it's way too busy. Like the jacket is gorgeous. You could have worn that with a simple outfit with the necklace in the middle, maybe black it out like an all black outfit with that necklace right there in the middle with the jacket over it, gorgeous. And even with the shades, that would have been beautiful. Some booties. Let's move on. Here is this mob wife trend again. Oh my goodness, this is really a thing. Again, the fur coat. I feel like I like every fur coat. I like fur coats because they just stand out and people are going to look at you. That's what I like. I, I like it. Like, look at my fur coat. 
I don't care if you think I look like an ostrich. You're looking at me though. I love the fact that she wore these beautiful burgundy boots, the white dress. It looks like a either a satin and lace dress, right? It has some satin detailing. It has some lacing going on. And it also, I, I believe it's a satin dress. She has pearls around her neck. It just gives like that rich, classic look. The sweater wrapped around her waist, for me, that's a no, because like, why? <laughs> why is it there to match your bag? No, you should have gotten a bag to match your boots. Or a white bag, a beige bag, cream colored bag, and just let the boots match the lips, and make that, uh, the, the pieces that stand out the most. I don't know, but I, I like this outfit. I just wouldn't do the um, the sweater around the waist part. That's just me though. Oh boy, skirts and pants. <laughs> My answer to the skirt and pants idea is hell no. No, we cannot, no, we should not. What is it? What is it that's going on here? Oh boy, the shoes. The hat. I mean, I don't hate the hat. The tube top. The gloves. The skirt. And the sweatpants. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Moving on. This is a oh, best and worst looks, but I, I think the good is still outweighing the bad. Here they are again! The mob wives trend, I love it. They actually didn't take it all the way there. You know, they, they have a very relaxed look. And it seems like maybe they are at a fashion show where the fur coats are a thing just based off the people that are standing behind them. But I, I like the, the coat on the left. I think hers, I would wear that one. I also like the bag that she's carrying. That oversized burgundy bag, the jeans, white shirt. Very simple look. I like it. Well, I think the model is upset with this outfit too, to be honest. I don't think she likes it. So if she doesn't like it, then why are we talking about it? Let's move on. I find it to be so fascinating how an industry can get together and say, let's make everyone wear this. And what is that this going to be? Pants with skirts. <laughs> like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to, you know, feel this whole fashion thing out. But yeah, the bottom half of this outfit is a no for me. I love the top. The top is gorgeous it's like a corset top with this one sleeve it seems like it's made out of maybe a mesh material but it's gorgeous and I know in person there are so many more details in this top like the stitching that I really can't see in the picture is probably beautiful and they probably could have done something amazing like turn it into a dress but no instead they threw some joggers on with some fabric hanging on the side <laughs> and why is she carrying a book is that a book all right now here we go now this is what I'm talking about right here oversized pinstripe blazer that's right up my alley I love outfits like this the see-through pants now the see-through trend I could stand behind the see-through trend I really like it and when it's done like this it's beautiful the pants are gorgeous the blazer is gorgeous her earrings her earrings are gorgeous, so love this. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, make it stop. Just make it stop, please. This is that same brand, that brand from like two pictures ago. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go with no. From the model to the outfit is a no. <laughs> that's wrapped around her is okay. I feel like the the chains that are wrapped around her is holding is holding up the tool. It's just one of the worst, okay? So we're gonna move on. Woo, yes. Every time, if you guys do not know this woman, I don't know her name, I don't know her, her social media handles, but she just be popping up. And every time she pops up, she's serving every single time this lady right here can dress her butt off hands down she's not even a model 
she's doing the street fashion look and she's killing it every time every time i see her she's like done up and amazing and perfect i love it <laughs> <laughs> and off topic, I have a little obsession with gray hair, so I love her hair, and I love that it's a cute little pixie bob, the glasses, the earrings, the Chanel sweater, the skirt, it just all goes well. I really hope she had on boots and not a pair of pants. We can't see it, but let's just hope she didn't have on pants. Ugh. Are those knee pads? You can tell. Okay, well, she's wearing a skirt with shorts. And maybe the shorts and tights are connected, maybe. <laughs> but it's definitely a mini skirt, biker shorts. Of course, when you wear biker shorts, you have to make sure you're safe. So you put your knee pads on, plastic coat, hair tie. What do you think about this outfit? I don't like it, what do you think? What do you think? And we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is another one of those looks like they're not necessarily wearable But we're trying to make a statement here at this fashion show and That's what they did the model's face is completely covered with fabric I'm going to assume the fabric was see-through because how is she even walking and seeing what's going on in front of her? She has the, the scarf on and they turned it into a bodysuit it kind of trails behind her from in between her legs. She has on pumps. She has on a statement necklace. I don't think this is supposed to be an outfit. I think it's just supposed to be a moment. I think she got her moment. So those were all the pictures that I found that I thought were a little bit interesting. We could actually have conversations about them. We had some good ones. We had some bad ones. But overall, I think the Copenhagen Fashion Week was a hit. I think there were so many great looks out there. So let me know which outfits you thought were the best and which outfits you thought were the worst. We had a few, okay? We, we had a few. <laughs> so let me know down in the comment section which items were your favorite. If you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. You can also check out one of these videos and I will see you next time. Peace.